Okay, sun's coming down quick. So uh, here's what I gotta do. Uh, so I gotta get some of this out rubbing alcohol here and clean all the uh, the mounting surfaces for the for the tape. Um, so what we're gonna do is uh, I think it's just it just mounts on this flat part here. So I'm gonna go clean that off with some alcohol and a napkin here. And it looks like it just mounts on pretty much this all this exposed plastic here. So hopefully, hopefully that um that tape will mount on there fine. It looks like it's a little dirty too. So, um, and hopefully when I take it off again, it doesn't it, it doesn't pull the tape the whole tape off. So so yeah. All right. Um, yeah, it's getting starting to get dark, so I'm probably gonna bust out my light soon. All right. So what I've done is uh, I've cut a piece of tape out, and then the uh, and I kind of use this uh, the the pot as a a, temp, uh, a stencil sorta and I, and I get a permanent marker so we're gonna cut on the inside of this line here hopefully it'll fit properly I don't know about the inside and then we'll see how it does for the inside too okay so uh, I got a uh, I got one of them uh, I had, so what I did is like I said I I cut it out with like a stencil sorta and then um, and then I just I just cut little pieces of it out at a, at a time. It's made a big mess here, man. It's all over the place now. But uh, I got it in there. So that's one side. So I'm gonna do one for each corner. So I think this is gonna. This is this is probably the most time-consuming process. <laughs> so I'll probably this is probably what I'll be doing the rest of the night. So that's what I'm thinking. And then I'm gonna have to use the scratchy part on there. So. So. Uh, so I'll let you know what it looks like when it's totally done. Also, uh, I try to cut it as thin as possible, so so there won't be any tape sticking out of anywhere. You know, I guess on the edges it won't be as much problem, but it's it's a pretty steep uh, it's pretty steep uh, kind of climb there. So um, what you don't want is you don't want a lot of excess tape, and then dust gets on it and collects there, and then and then eventually the tape will just just come off because there's too much dirt on it. You know. So, but you still kind of want something for it to grab on. Okay, there's one, there's one corner done. Um, basically, I just kind of line it up to the inside, and then I just uh, put it on there. So it's a little bit hard, but oh uh, yeah, you don't want it to get stuck, and then you have to fold it. And it should be on there pretty good. All right, so just do that for Ooh, each of the corners. All right, so there it is. I got the. I I figure I'm gonna do the one that's inside the car, and then I'm just gonna take this inside the house, and then I'm gonna do it inside there, in the comfort of my room, because my back kind of hurts sitting on the seat like this, hunched over. But uh, so I got the um, I got the part on the car done, and um, and there we go. So there it is. Um, I I mean this is the mess that I made just to do that, man. That's a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot. Uh, but I pretty much kind of just did it freehand almost. Um, I just told myself, hey, you're going to cut here and then cut it there. And then I would trim little pieces here and there off up until, uh, you know, until it fit in there perfectly. These are all the backings. Ugh, what a mess, dude. Um, but yeah, so there it is. It's all, that's what it looks like when it's all said and done. Pretty good. Um, you can't see the screws anymore. So if I ever want to put the speakers back in, I'll either have to poke a hole in it or just pull the tape out so so for now um i think that's where i'm going to stop tonight um i don't really feel like doing any soldering right now and it's cold outside so uh, but i have to figure out where some of this tape is going so uh, not tape uh, some of the, these wires are going so that's what i'll do before uh, before i call it quits tonight and then i'll just take this in the house and um and finish doing this i gotta i got it's about halfway done almost it's hardly gonna touch anywhere here. Um, the important part, it's like it doesn't have to be on there perfectly. Like I can put it on there right now if I wanted to. That's how it's gonna be. And there's like you know you can see some gaps in there. I guess there's some room where you can adjust it. You know a little bit. There you go. It's a little better. But uh, yeah, it's it's gonna flop around a little bit. Hopefully not too much. Um, you can always maybe tape it down on the outside maybe. But, uh, yeah, that's good. Um, the important thing is the gauge doesn't fly out <laughs> while I'm driving, you know. And, and th this car does a lot of bumps and stuff, so yeah. So uh, we'll see. It looks like I may need to put extra. It doesn't fit in there quite well. Or it looks like what I have to do. Wish 
me not fit there. Down there though. What it looks like I might have to do is add some more um, tape along the edge here on the outside and then put it along the sides here. There's nothing to grip here on up in the bottom part, so so I might have to do that. So on this, so I have to remind myself, hey, add some Velcro to the side here, and this side, um, down here and up here, it's not gonna do anything. So um, I guess I could put it on the the fabric here, but that might if I pull it off, it might just pull the whole fabric out with it, and it'll fuck the dash up. So don't want that. And then we'll just put a little bit of Velcro here and here, and then that should do it. Now that might be that may be way too much, but uh, it seems like it it hooks up better here. I think so. And then yeah, this that may pull this out with it too. So I'm not too happy with that, but it's pretty it's pretty stout where it is. So we'll see. Um, first, well, first we'll do the inside, and then I'll see. I'll take it outside and I'll test fit it again. So. That's uh, where I'm at tonight. Um, I don't think I'm going to do any more uh, besides uh, figure out where what I'm going to do with this. Oh, bar. okay. So I was looking at this Sport Comp 2 gauge, and uh, I'm looking at it, and there's no way to take the bulb out. This is not like your traditional. Uh, I've never seen a gauge like this before. It just has the wires coming out at the back. Um, this is something new to me. Um, normally they'll have a bulb that you can take out. You can just unscrew and take out. Um, so I can't do the bulb condom thing, unfortunately. Uh, unless I dissect the gauge somehow, figure out how to get to that light. But what my guess is is that is that that's a um, there's probably an LED bulb in there or something that that there's they've had it hardwired into there. So I can't do that anymore. <laughs> oh well, that's too bad. I was looking forward to it. Having it the same color as the gauge cluster, but oh well, I guess that'll work for now. Uh, I could probably just get another boost gauge along the line, but uh, this one matches pretty good though. It just won't be, it won't be green at night, unfortunately. All right, he's make it here. So I got done uh, putting the what's that? Uh, the Velcro on the uh, on the gauge pod. And I found out this gauge pod is it's too small. It's not really, it's not very well made. Um, it's too, it goes inward too much here, so the gauge doesn't go in all the way. So, but anyway, um, so I had planned to uh, put the the AEM air fuel ratio gauge in this one, so I just went ahead and put it in there, even though it's not hooked up. So that's what it's going to be. Um, what I might do is just plug the other one with another gauge I got lying around. So. Um, but anyway, there it is. All the Velcro's on there, on four sides here, and um, and then I put some on the sides here, kind of take up that kind of gap. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put any Velcro on the dash though, so we'll see. Like I said I don't know if it's going to hold up that well. Plus, I just I I tried to put that dash mat on, and it uh <laughs> the, the tape would not stick to that stuff, so go figure um, so there it is that's the way it's in there um, that plastic bracket thing um, was was interfering with the, the way the gauge went in there so I decided not to use it so what I did was I took some uh, electrical tape and I wrapped it around the, um, the gauge a couple times for some reason this gauge is too it's too small it doesn't doesn't fit in there very tight this one the AEM air fuel ratio gauge is a uh, is a little um, it's a little tight, so I don't know. I guess Autometer makes theirs a little loose or something, because uh, I think I'm pretty sure AEM is a U.S. brand. Um, and uh, so there it is. So you can tell that the the, the Autometer boost gauge is way bigger. So, and uh, I found out it's better in this configuration. I went and put this silver bezel on. It's not quite as nice looking as the one on the Autometer one, but it matches pretty well. And uh, they're both black face, so you can actually change everything on the AM gauges, which is nice. Um, so there it is. Uh, so they're just sitting in there, um, but they don't fall out or anything because they're in there pretty tight. And then uh, all I have to do now is uh, get power for it and then um, just plug in the, the boost signal line, and that's it. And then uh, and we'll have to work on this some other time. 
Um, but uh, actually, that actually shouldn't be too hard. I already know how to do it. I know where the O2 sensor wire is too. So, so yeah. So let's. Uh, so when next we meet, I will be. Uh, I will slap this onto the dash, and it should it should fit there um, with Velcro, and then um, and then I have to run the electrical. Uh, I, I think what I'm going to do is uh, just uh, tap the, um, I'm just going to tap that, that line that for the light, basically. I don't know where it goes, but I'm just going to run a new wire and then uh, put some new ends on it. So that's it. All right. Cool deal. Here's my cup.